Good morning. Morning. How are you this morning? I am well. Beautiful day in Saskatoon. Great little walk in the fresh air. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Good job. So you want me to take over now? Sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone. So glad you have joined us today, and we just think it's really. Excuse me. Here. There we are. He's trying to set a timer so that we don't talk we too are. much. Okay, well, we're ready to that go. one of us doesn't talk too much. <laughs> we, uh, we get together in the morning because we believe the way we start our day really matters. And the truth of the matter is that thinking right determines so much of our life. So just taking time at the start of the day to get our eyes focused on Jesus. Mm -hmm really really matters so we are in first thessalonians 5 uh, for this part stretch of strength for the day uh, we started by looking at hallowed be thy name and then we moved to looking at the lord's prayer and now we're in this great chapter chapter 4 ends with the talk about the lord returning and then uh, talks in verses starting in verse 11 of first thessalonians 5 about how we're supposed to live and yesterday we came on this uh, really interesting thing that one of the things that we have to be doing in the end times is make sure that we are listening to our leaders, following our leaders. And I read that and I thought, now this is an interesting thing to include in instruction to Christians about the end times. And then the more I thought about it, the more I recognized this really does make sense. Mm -hmm. Because the more difficult the times are, the more important leadership becomes. Now, to be a leader, there has to be followers, so following really matters too. And this instruction here is both to the leaders and the followers. Realize, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, that in the last days, perilous times will come. Uh, the times before Jesus appears in the clouds are going to be perilous. Uh, second, uh, First Timothy 4, verse 1, the Spirit expressly says, explicitly says, that in later times, some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. There's going to be this hellish attack on the world, uh, deceiving people, doctrines of demons, having leaders who know the Word of God, having leaders who you trust to rightly divide the Word of God mm -hmm. and share it in your heart, really, really matters. And the more difficult the times come, the closer we need to draw together and uh, rely upon each other. So, there's these difficult times, and Jesus talked about that too in uh, Matthew chapter 24. This is a consistent revelation of what uh, the end times are going to look like. Matthew chapter 24, uh, verses 4 and 5. See to it that no one misleads you. It's going to be easy to mis be misled. Mm -hmm. And many will come in my name saying, I'm the Christ, and will miss." Leave many. So these deceitful times come. These deceitful times come at the end. And we need to mm -hmm. uh, understand and appreciate our leaders, know who our leader is, mm -hmm. and, uh, and line our lives up under the authority. Now, I was struck yesterday, never noticed that in all the years I've been teaching and preaching and reading the Word, that... Uh, the scriptures say in First Thessalonians that the leader in these verses, uh, 12 and 13, that uh, the pastor has charge. Leaders have charge. They don't have to take charge. They have charge. God has given them the calling to lead us. So uh, it's important that we appreciate them and recognize they have charge and esteem them very highly in love. So just talk to us for a bit about that. Don. Well, just as you were talking, actually, um, I thought back to a reading this morning that I read, and it's uh, in Judges. And of course, 
um, the children of Israel had just come through their, their time of leaders, consecutive great leaders. And here uh, Joshua was the, the last leader, and then comes this time of judges. And in between all the judges, uh, Scripture keeps saying, um, when one judge passed away, the people just did what was right in their own sight. And actually the book of Judges ends with this exact uh, verse, this exact wording. It says, in those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. And so you see throughout um, that, especially Judges, the book of Judges, the importance of uh, leadership and having someone to lead us, not only um, physically, uh, I mean, in, in their case, it was a physical leading because they were often very um, nomadic, but uh, spiritually, we need someone to lead us spiritually. And, and to, the more difficult to guide the us. time is, the more difficult yeah. uh, or important it becomes that we have good leadership. So. Yeah. So, so that just kind of struck me as, as John was speaking there, something I read this morning that was relevant to that. But we just wanted to end um, this little talk this morning uh, with just a personal thank you um, to, and I actually wrote it out, thank you, um, to all the people of uh, the neighborhood church and churches. I just made the screen a lot better looking. That we've pastored in the past. Um, you know, we, we weren't always this age when we started pastoring. We were young, um, newlyweds, and yet we were leading a church. And in all of our churches, um, we had people that came along beside us and supported us and prayed for us. And that's so true uh, in the neighborhood church um, that we have had the privilege of serving. Um, we have had great 18 people. 18 years last month. Great people that have supported us and prayed for us and encouraged us and and been very few. Actually, I don't even can think of any bumps along the road. And I'm sure not everyone's always agreed with with John. You may have always agreed with me, but you may not have always agreed with him. Um, but we have all felt supported and and loved, and our children have felt loved and supported, and now our grandchildren. And we just want to say a big thank you. Uh, because we know that's not true for every leader out there, every spiritual leader out there. And so we want to thank you um, and um, just acknowledge that this morning, that we, we as leaders are very blessed. And we thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support. Yeah, good. Very good. Thanks, Dawn. And... Um whatever setting you're in, whatever your home church is, um, just model within your fellowship, your community of faith, mm -hmm. um, this attitude of appreciating and recognizing and esteeming your leaders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to really be together when things get really, really tough. And I'm not saying that's starting tomorrow, but when they get really, really tough, We've got to be together. Mm -hmm. Well, that's and, so true for any time of our lives when things are tough. Yeah, and um, it's too late to start practicing it when the trouble starts. So yeah. bless you. Practice let's, let's, honor. Let's pray together. Father, another great day ahead of us. A day that's great because we have an opportunity to honor you. Mm -hmm. We have an opportunity to honor one another. So help us, Lord. Help us today to rest in you, to rest in your great love for you. We honor you today as Jehovah Shalom, the God who is our peace. And we walk in the wonderful peace and presence of Jesus today. Amen. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you in the morning. Thank you for joining us day. today. I'm still here.